Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DX12 error, access violation error or initializing rendering configuration error while playing death stranding game on your computer. Now in order to fix the problem, first of all, go ahead and close the game, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Sometimes restarting the computer takes care of the problem. Still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and update your Windows 10 to the latest version. So go to the start menu, click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update. Now, once the update is installed, go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and do a clean installation of your graphic card driver. So to do a clean installation, go to browser and if you have AMD, go to AMD website. If you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. So just type in Nvidia drivers in Google search, go to NVIDIA website, then select your graphic card from the list over here and then click on search, and then click on download and now once you click on download, it will go ahead and download the exe file. Once the download is complete, you have to go ahead and run the exe file and then you will see this screen. Then you have to go ahead and accept to the terms, agree and continue, then select the option which says custom and then click on next. And here you will see a box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here, then click on next and do a clean installation, then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and install this Visual C++ files from Microsoft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. So open this link and then go ahead and install Visual Studio 2015, 2017 and 2019 and Click on this exe file which is x86 and x64 so you have to go ahead and install both the version. So click on it, click on the exe file and then once the download is complete you have to go ahead and run this exe file. Download both the file x86 and x64. Now run the exe file, click on run. Then click on repair or install whatever option you see and then click on yes to allow and run the second file as well. So you have to go ahead and install both x86 and x64. So run the second file, click on repair or install whatever you see, click on yes to allow. Now once this is done, do not restart the computer, do not click on restart, click on close and wait for the second one to install. Once this is done, do not restart, click on close. Scroll down and you have to install Visual Studio 2013 as well. So click on this hyperlink, it will take you to the next page. Then scroll down and here you can see x64. So go ahead and install this English United States, click on this link and it will go ahead and download the file and you have to also install the x86 so it was x64 and this is x86 so again click on this link and run both the exe file click on run click on repair or install click on yes to allow run the second file too click on run click on repair or install, click on yes to allow and do not restart, click on close, then close this and once this is done, go to the start menu and then click on the power icon, then click on restart and after the restart, try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and roll back Nvidia graphics card driver to 451.48 or 446.14. So for many players, you know, rolling back the NVIDIA graphic card driver to 451 or 446 has helped. So go ahead and copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. So open this link. Scroll down and select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card then click on start search. Now once you click on start search, here on the bottom you will see 451.48, 48, 
go ahead and download and install this if this does not work you can go ahead and use this version that is 446.14 then click on get download and install it then restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot go ahead and type in system configuration in windows search and then open system configuration go to the services tab and then click on hide all microsoft services put a check over here then after you put a check then click on disable all then click on apply ok and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game now still you are facing the problem then run steam as an administrator to run steam as an admin go ahead and type in steam in windows search then make a right click on steam app then click on open file location and then make a right click on steam exe file and then select properties go to compatibility tab then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply ok and after this verify the game files in steam so go to the steam library and then make a right click on death stranding game and then go to properties and click on properties then go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and then after that you go ahead and launch the game now for many users disabling dlss has fixed the problem so if you can launch the game in case you are not able to launch the game then this step is not valid so if you are able to start the game then go to settings then go to graphics settings and then go to nvidia dlss and then turn it off and then try to launch the game this should go ahead and fix the crash problem now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card to run the game on the dedicated graphic card go to desktop make a right click on desktop then click on nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings then go to program settings and once you select program settings then click on add now once you click on add you have to go ahead and find the game in the list if you don't find the game in the list then click on browse and then game go to the game installation folder and then find the exe of the game and select the exe then click on add selected program once the game is added over on the bottom here you can see uh, select the preferred graphics processor for this program click on this down arrow and then select high performance nvidia processor and then click on apply and then once this is done go ahead and try to launch the game in case i don't have amd graphic card so in that case you can go ahead and type in graphics settings in windows search and then go to graphics settings then go to browse click on browse and then go ahead and select uh, go to the game installation folder find the exe file of the game and then click on add so select the game and then click on add and then you click on options this is just an example so after you add the death standing game over here then go to options then select high performance and then click on save now still you are facing the problem then add dash dx11 or dash d3 d11 in launch option so you have to go to the steam open st steam then go to steam library then make a right click on death stranding game and then select properties then over here you will see the option which says set launch option under the general tab so click on set launch option and then you have to go ahead and a box will pop up you have to uh, the launch option box will pop up you have to go ahead and type in dash dx11 and then click on okay and then try to launch the game if that does not re resolve you can go ahead and add dash d3 d11 and then click on okay if this does not work try this and then click on okay and then try launching the game also make sure that you disable antivirus while playing the game so make sure whatever antivirus you have make a right uh, go to the antivirus program either add an exception uh to the antivirus program for the game or simply go ahead and disable the antivirus so just disable it and once you are done playing the game you can go ahead and always enable your antivirus program so before you launch the game disable your antivirus and after that once you are done playing you can go ahead and enable your antivirus program once again also make sure that you step uh, you go ahead and stop all the windows 10 apps from running in the background so open settings go to settings and then go ahead and type in background background apps and then make sure that this is off if this is on go ahead and turn this off and then also make sure that you disable 
you disable or close all the overlay apps so if you have um, any overlay apps running like if you have nvidia geforce experience open go to settings then scroll down and here you can see in game overlay so disable it if you have discord running go to the user settings and then click on overlay and then if this feature is on which says enable in game overlay go ahead and disable it or simply go ahead and close all the overlay apps so when you're playing the game make sure that you close all the overlay apps so make sure that it's not hidden over here just make a right click then go ahead and close all the overlay overlay application also make sure that you close all the overclocking apps so if you have any kind of overclocking apps like i have msi afterburner close it if you have reward tuner running in the background go ahead and close it so make sure that you have only the game run, running on the computer also go ahead and disable the steam overlay so go to the steam library make a right click on the death stranding game and select properties then go to um, under the general tab you will find the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game so uncheck this and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now if nothing works then go ahead and uninstall the game so go to the steam library and then make a right click on the game and then go to select properties then go to local files then click on uninstall game and after you you are done uninstalling the game go ahead and delete all the game files from the installation directory or delete all the save game files then restart your computer and then re after restart go ahead and reinstall the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to fix this kind of error while playing the game so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel